Hello world, it is Tuesday, September 23rd. Another beautiful day again in Defiance. A little, little warmer than uh, yesterday and the day before even. Um, temperatures might be up in the upper 70s, I believe, so it should be a gorgeous day. Today's devotion is entitled Just Love, and it's by Kaja Dosha. And Kaji um, based the devotion upon Psalm 119, verse 105, New Revised Standard Version. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. And Kaji writes, I do whatever I can to avoid talking about sex in church. It's messy. It tends to invite follow-up conversations I don't want to have. My avoidance, however, comes at the expense of people who so often need help creating a faithful, Christ-centered, unoppressive Christian a sexual ethic. Fortunately, good ethicists have already done this work. Professor Margaret Farley, a Roman Catholic Sister of Mercy, published an academic text called Just Love that is the manifesto through which I've constructed my own pastoral sexual ethic. She boils all relationship, including sexual, down to this core teaching of Jesus, love God and neighbor. Does the ref relationship reflect love? Here's how we might know the answer. Does a relationship cause harm? Is each person in a position to fully consent? Do they? Is a relationship mutual? Or are the benefits and risks one-sided? Are the people in the relationship equals? Do they have equal access to power and vulnerability? Is there an equal understanding of commitment? Does the relationship bear fruit beyond individual pursuits? Are the people in the relationship in a position to take on the consequences of their union? Knowing how to recognize love is one of the most difficult lessons, of our, lessons our faith can teach. Avoidance and control issues in church have clouded the lenses through which we might perceive love. So many of us want to know the will of God and the choice we make. We want the light for our path so that we can step rightly. In sex and love, in faith and justice, God's word shines true, just love. Kaji's prayer. God of love, judgment, bodies, and will, may your word ever be light upon our paths so that we may follow you closely. Amen. Kaji's devotional um, is a good one and brings up some good points, I think about relationships. And it's one of the discussion points uh, that a church would undergo in discussing open and affirming, which St. John United Church of Christ is open and affirming. And in discussion about the um, lives of LGBTQIA plus folk, I think this these kinds of questions are ones that are often discussed. Um, when a relationship is equal in basis, when there's power with rather than power over, it's a just love. And it's a love um, as expressed between God and God's creation. And it's a love that God expects between creation. And we're part of that creation. So <clears throat> that's what, excuse me, that's what I always think about, though, is, um, is a relationship a relationship in which there is power with someone, not power over. It has to be a it has to be a relationship of equals, um, not something where somebody has power or control over someone else, and that's really the key point. So, I think you should contemplate with the, the concepts Kaji brings up. Um, and even think about your own relationships and how they might be improved by focusing on some of these elements and, and make sure that it is a just love. Hope you have a good day and I will talk to you again tomorrow.